Uh, started working uh, for a bunch of different MPs, actually on a cross-party basis. I think I ended up working for five or six MPs during uh, the following three years. And um, as these things uh, happen often in the House of Commons, it was through a relationship, um, a platonic relationship with... Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know I was saying that. Uh, uh, with um, one MP's secretary. Um, <laughs> is that journalist from The Independent here? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, Graham Bright was the MP, uh, and he was John Major's uh, PPS. And uh, she said to me, you know, this leadership campaign is kicking off. Uh, do you fancy getting a bit of experience? And I thought this is what a wonderful opportunity to see how the inside of the Tory party works at that kind of level. So I went to work. Uh, it, I wasn't anything at all near the top of the campaign. I was right at the bottom of the campaign, uh, being a runner, me media monitoring. Uh, I went to get ice cream uh, for the campaign team. Uh, and did things like that, quite menial tasks, but it was a great insight uh, uh, for six weeks to see how things worked at the centre of the Tory party. Um, my journey, uh, I then kind of stepped out of Westminster politics for many, many years. Uh, started a think tank in 2001, did a dot com for a year, uh, raised a lot of money for work in the developing world, but I was thinking a lot and reflecting on my own politics and where I stood. Um, but the pivotal moment for me was having uh, a son with a disability and uh, the challenges that that raised. He's now 14, so this was about 14 years ago. Um, seeing the huge barriers um, that he has faced and have been erected by society from you know, right from early on with the medical profession, uh, fighting the medical profession. You know, I love the NHS, my dad was a doctor, but you have to fight and you have to struggle in the NHS when you have a, uh, as many people here will know. Uh, when you have a family member with a disability or you have a disability yourself. Um, then getting into school, um, I was a, a governor of the local school uh, and uh, when it came to, my, my oldest daughter went there, it was our local school, and then when it came for my son to go there, said, they said, sorry, we can't take him. Um, and I had to fight for two years, uh, basically took two years out of my life to, to fight that battle. I had to represent and take to a tribunal, represent it myself, it cost us thousands of pounds of our own money, um, and I won it and we got him into the school. In the end, the Secretary of State had to intervene and actually effectively buy the school off with three quarters of a million quid to, buy a, to build a new wing on the school. And actually, my son started at the school six, weeks, uh, six months before any building work was done at the school. You know, that, this wasn't an issue, the school was accessible, it's just that uh, people were scared, people were putting up barriers, and this is what had to happen. Um, and then I had the confrontation with Cameron in, in 2010. I was taking my son to a hospital appointment, um, and uh, we were, early at the Evelina Children's Hospital, we saw the vans parked by the side of the street uh, outside where David Cameron was giving a speech. So we went over to see what was going on. Tory party worker spots the kid in the wheelchair and says, um, would you mind having a picture taken with David Cameron? I said, sure. <laughs> so they sorted it all out and, you know, brought uh, Mr. Cameron out. And I said, you know, I must be one of the few people that have read the Tory party manifesto at that point, certainly the section on children with disabilities, and I said, you know, do you mind if I ask you some questions? And uh, suddenly 20 cameras appeared from nowhere and, and started live streaming this conversation, which became quite a heated discussion uh, across News 24 and Sky, came up in the leaders' debates that evening. Um, and at that point, I took a long, hard look at the party manifestos right across the board, and a few days later, I joined the Green Party. Um, it seemed to me to be the natural expression of where I was at, my values, and I think I was absolutely right, it is. I love the Green Party, I love its inclusion. Uh, I love the fact that it's here for everyone. I love the fact that it, it fights the markets which are destroying our schools and putting up these barriers. You know, when you have markets unfettered, uh, those who can't get a hand up or need a bit of extra help just get trampled, trampled underfoot, they get left behind. I don't want that for anyone. I certainly don't want it for my kids. Um, I'm proud to be a member of the Green Party. I actually don't regret working for Major. It was a good experience, but I am so far away from the Tory party. Um, you know, I couldn't get much further away from the Tory party. I hope that is a long and in-depth answer to your question, Adam.